just wanted to look at the final, final, final cut of stuff. This is going to be about the 1.0 build of Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. Just wanted to show you guys what's there, how it works. So day one tomorrow, you know, Legion 7.033 hits. This is what this is how it looks. This is what's going to be. So I've got other videos that are attached to this that talk about if you're migrating from a previous version of Gnome Sequencer and all of that kind of stuff. But to begin with, this is the this is the stuff. So, all right. So I'm sitting just as a retribution paladin. I'm in my order hall, but straight off I go GS and it turns around and tells me that there's a ret AOE and a ret single target macro and if I go to Drake specific macros they're there there's the ret AOE one there's the ret single target one and if I take them off my bars that would probably be help all I'm doing is just dragging it down and target dummy and away we go so I've turned the I've turned the in-game sound off but it's cycling through bits and pieces and I can switch to the AOE one so that when I get my five stacks of holy power yeah I get my divine storm as opposed to Templar's verdict and blah 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 alright so just running out of combat it's probably a faster way of doing this but this works for me so sorry that this is just like boring run stuff alright I'm out of combat so if I change to holy, so I've got a I've got a prot one sitting there that I've been playing around with. But if I change to holy, um, I've got no macros in the box for this. So I do a, a GS again, and it throws up this particular one. All right, so this is basically a holy DPS leveling macro with talents three one three one one two three. That's all down here. So talents. 3131123 Great. I get back to my target dummy. And I got my sequence doing stuff. All right. So that's all well and good and great, but what if you wanted to edit sequences? Now in the past you never could. So da -da -da. Sorry, just getting out of combat again. So, and what if we changed our talents? Um, say we wanted... Pff, instead of Devotion Aura, we wanted um, Aura of Mercy. Great. So, GSSE brings up a sequence editor. So from here we can load our Holy DPS one, which was DB Holy Deeps. There's our sequence. This is what's in the file. So it does a Judgment, a Crusader Strike, Consecration, Avenging Wrath, Blooding Light, Holy Shock, Divine Protection. Right, so if we go edit, we're now in an interface where we've got the ability to edit. Now it comes up by the, by a name of live test. Um, you don't want to change that for the moment because it doesn't allow you to overwrite a sequence, but it allows you to overwrite this one called live test, so you can play around with stuff. Step function. There's two common step functions that people use. There's the general like do line one, line two, line three, line four. So in this case, it'd be like. Start a judgment, then do Crusader Strike, then do Consecration, then do Avenging Wrath, then Blinding Light, Holy Shock, Divine Protection. Great. The priority list one is one that you'll see. This these guys have got a whole bunch of code that's got step function equals step and step and did this and that da da da. It's about eight or nine lines, and it looks like boilerplate. It literally looks like every macro's got the same stuff. So this one is a priority list that goes judgment. Then I'll try if judgment's on cooldown, then try Crusader Strike. If Judgment and Crusader Strike are on cooldown, do Consecration. If Judgment, Crusader Strike, Consecration are on cooldown, then hit Avenging Wrath. If all of these are on cooldown, hit that. But then if Judgment comes off cooldown, hit that. If, if then these others are still on cooldown, go down to Holy Shock, and if, so forth and so forth and so forth. So each time through, it starts at the top and looks for an ability that's free. So in our case, we're just being simple and I'm being lazy. Now, pre-macros and post-macros... Pre-macros and post-macros are generally things that are off the global cooldown, but they're things like target an enemy or other bits and pieces. Um, I've got use 13 and 14. They're like the trinket slots, so you could have use 11 and 12 if you wanted to add your ring in there because you're being lazy and you're leveling, um, so forth. So there's been some people that have been adding in some ones that are like 
run script hide errors and all this other fun stuff. Um, I'm going to come back to them in a minute because you don't need to put them in the macro anymore. But yeah, so we changed one of our talents. I think we got rid of um, divine. Uh, we changed one of our talents, whatever else. And it's just literally a case of yeah, we've changed it. We can just drag and drop this in. So we don't want Avenging Wrath at the end, we want Avenging Wrath as the first thing. Why uh, Why you do that is a completely different matter. I don't know why you would do that, but yeah. So I've just dragged and dropped the talent in. Avenging Wrath, we go save. So this creates a new sequence, which is called Life Test. Yeah, it's got my new talents, it's got the new spells, so we've got Avenging Wrath at the top, Combat 13, 14. So if I bring up my macro window again, and go back to my general, here's life test. So we can bring that down, throw it on a bar. I'll just close that for a sec. Um, bring up my combat log. Right, so just bringing this up so you can see it. So our sequence was Avenging Wrath, Judgment, Crusader Strike, whatever else, and away we go. So there's our Avenging Wrath, there's our first one, there's our Crusader Strike, there's our Consecration, Avenging Wrath again is on cooldown, there's Blinding Light, Holy Shock, Divine Protection, because everything's on cooldown, we're back and off we go again. And that's literally how it works. So you can take this thing, now go, you know, do you... Control C to copy, you can go to Wail Lazy Macros, you can save it, you can post it, you can open up your sequences file, there's other videos that show you how to do that, and you can save it away. So that's that stuff. Now the other thing that's happened in this version of Gnome Sequencer Enhanced that's ready for Legion, is once I get back out of combat again, Is I mentioned earlier that some people have been putting in some stuff in their um, pre and post macros about disabling UI errors and disabling UI sounds. So if we go into the interface and go to add-ons, there's now a GNOME Sequencer Enhanced one. So this first option here, this clean temporary macros. So you know how we just created live tests? What this will do is that when we log out, it'll delete the live test macro from the character. Um, it just means that you you know, that's not saved between sessions, so you come back in again and whatever you had in live test is gone. So it's just to prevent errors, that'll do that. This one here will add a line, that, like there used to be a line in sequences that said run UI errors frame clear, this prevents that. Um, this tick box prevents having to put a line of consoles enable sound effects 0 and, en and enable sound effects 1 in your pre and post macros. This one did the same thing with script UI errors frame hide in the post macro. Um, so th those three there are just literally about this stuff that was appearing in sequences. It didn't actually mean anything. So if you're looking at a sequence, you're sitting there going, console, why do I need to turn the sound effects on? Why do I need to turn the sound effects off? What is this about the errors frame? But what they do is they prevent things like, um, if I turn my sound on, when you're, it doesn't work too well on target dummies, but the prevent like sound errors and the prevent UI errors ones, they turn around and stop the, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that, I, that's not ready. And it stops the error message stuff that appears at the top here. So if I just run this sequence for a bit, I'll move, move out of range. Alright, so what you didn't get was, you got the too far away because I moved too far away, but you didn't get the, I can't do that yet, that's not ready, that's not ready, I can't do that yet stuff. And so that's those errors. Um, oh, I went to add-ons. Interface. So that's, that's those four. So this one gets rid of that. Those three deal with those UI effects, so you can turn them on or off depending on your personal taste. Because they are a personal taste thing, I generally play with the sound off, even the in-game sounds off. Um, and yeah, you get somebody who's got a macro that's got turn the sound on, turn the sound off. As a, as a as a as a as a user, you're sitting there going, "What's going on?" Now this other one here is seed initial macro. So when you get 
Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, it actually comes with three three things that are added into it. So you've got this one, um, Gnome Sequencer Enhanced Core. This is the bit that makes everything work, and so this is the must-have bit. But then you've got these other two ones. So you've got Drake's Bundle Macros with Load On Demand. This contains a, a, a list of about 30 or different macros for different classes, different specs that have been written mainly by guys on the Wow Lazy Macros forum. Um, and they're just there so that day one you've got some stuff to get going. Now, you don't have to use these macros. You don't have to at all. You can disable it, you can put your own in, and all of that's covered in other videos. But here's a group that's come out of the box. But say you've disabled that, you don't have any macros, and you want to turn around and use the sequence editor. Um, I'm not going to go reload UI, because this option here, add-ons, interface this option here seed and macro this creates like a hello world macro so that you've got absolutely one macro listed in there that you can then use to create your live test put your stuff in and do whatever you need to do so i've got that turned off because it does nothing all it does is if you run the macro it says hello world um, but it's just there so that you've got a macro as a starting point if you don't have any other macros loaded um, now i mentioned earlier there's the macro pack that i've that i've bundled in um, the space is there for people, if you've got your own collection of macros, there's other guides on how to create a macro pack like this, so that you can order them, you can sort them, you can create, okay, I've just got these five macros that I care about because I just play this one character and that's all I do, I don't care about all this other stuff, so in my add-ons I can just disable Drake's and have my own one there, um, but that's in another video, this is just about seven, yeah, the 7.03 stuff, see you in game.